This is Cutting Down the Nets. We are back on camera today uh, because we have like a, 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 a grown man slate instead of these six gamers with a bunch of crap. So pretty decent slate today. I think there will be some opportunities. I've only had one so far, but I uh, wanted to talk through a couple other options and I'll be updating on Betstamp, obviously, and then uh, now on the Twitter machine while that's still alive. So let's jump right into it, and I'll kind of highlight things that I'm looking at and monitoring. We will, let's blow this puppy up a little bit. By the way, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. So what you're going to see today is two new columns. And uh, I put on Twitter, like, be really careful with these. But Patty is here. Shot quality is here. <laughs> I can't stress enough how poor process it is to use a one-game Patty. But it does provide some anecdotal information. I think that's kind of interesting. And that in shot quality led me to my first bet this morning. And I think you could chase that a little bit. I don't think the line gets too far out of line, given that Ken Pond is nine. So right now I'm sorted by the Ken Palm and Bart Torvik median um, point spread. That, compared to the actual point spread, shows potential value. Uh, the ones in red I've looked into and I'm just staying away from based on the number, based on the situation, whatever that might be. So I'm just going to hit a couple of these that I find interesting. And then uh, updates will be on Twitter and Betstamp, as always. So. Houston Christian, by the way, if you have historical records and you're trying to keep track of the new D1 teams, Houston Christian is Houston Baptist. Um, Houston Baptist uh, changed their name to Houston Christian this year. So Houston Christian, not necessarily a new D1 team, but it's certainly uh, a new looking name if you're comparing to any of your historical records. Anyway, they take off uh, against Texas tonight. Line is 37. That has come up quite a bit. Torvik and Ken Palm are in the uh, 30 range. Using one game of data, Patty says, hey, how about 23 points? Using one game of shot selection, shot quality says, how about 40 points? I think this line is a little inflated, but Houston Christian slash Baptist might just be real bad. Like, it's, I don't know. I'm just not interested in betting that game that starts like 28 to 5, and then you've got the, the rest of the game where you need um, – Houston Christian to come within like 12 points. Uh, just I, I'm out on that. So just a, just a thought, but I do think that line's a little high. UMass Lowell at Columbia, line is eight and a half. Ken Palm six, Torvik one. So um, both Torvik and Ken Palm have UMass Lowell winning this game, but not by three possessions. So I'm monitoring that line. But if you if you dig into Columbia's last game, whoo boy. Uh, one of 21 from three point range, turned it over on 34% of their possessions. So basically, a third of the time they gave it away, and if not, they were missing a three pointer. Uh, they got waxed by Rutgers. I'm still considering this game. Rutgers is a very, very strong defensive team. North Dakota Creighton is next. Um, Creighton kind of underwhelmed in their, in their opener. Um, people are high on Creighton. This line is 30. Um, Ken Palm and Torvik have that more in the the mid twenties shot quality said thirty two. Patty's eight. Look, I think it's a little high. It's a very similar situation to the Texas game, and I'm just not forcing stuff early in the year. Uh, move on to Quinnipiac. That line opened at eight and a half nine, and the only reason it did is because Ken Palm has that, and you're going to see that a lot this time of year. Torvik much higher on Quinnipiac and much lower on Stonehill. He had at eighteen. Using one game of data, Patty says 25, shot quality says 25. There was enough consistency there that I'm like, look, didn't bet yesterday. Let's fire the cannons. So I have a bet out there at minus nine. But looking at this, if you wanted to chase that one, I wouldn't put too much stock into like, ooh, I don't want the bad line. It's moved two points. Th these lines are just made up uh, this time of year. The market is very inefficient. So. If you only have an 11 and you really want to play, like I don't see much difference between that um, and what I grabbed earlier. Cleveland State, Cincinnati both have played non-D1 opponents, but it is scary that Cincinnati beat Chaminade by 40 and Cleveland State lost to Notre Dame, Ohio. Not Notre Dame, Indiana. Not Rudy's school. Notre Dame, Ohio. So certainly some concerns there 
the analytics prefer the Cleveland State side, but again, that is um, super, super scary stuff. Uh, Indiana, there is a Trace Jackson Davis uh, injury concern. He either has a partially broken, I don't, can you even have a partially broken thumb? He may have broke his thumb. Either way, um, I expect him to be somewhat limited, not necessarily needed. Uh, I watched Bethune Cookman play an entire game against Iowa. They looked pretty bad. Um, shot quality has Indiana by 28. Patty's one game has Indiana by 40. And then Torvik and Ken Palm are in the high 20. So kind of interesting there, but um, with a spread that big, I certainly don't want to lay 32 points. So um, could be some live betting opportunities that present themselves. A game I flagged here is Eastern Illinois and Illinois State. Um, Illinois State's favored by 10. Eastern Illinois expected to be very, very bad. Um, were bad last year, expected to be bad again. But Torvik says 5.6, Ken Palm says 7, so that median's like 6.3. So we're getting like a possession there. Based on one game, Patty thought, um, by the way, Patty didn't think. Based on the offensive and defensive efficiencies of the games played, Eastern Illinois um, is favored by Patty in this game, and shot quality has it close. So that's kind of interesting to me, but um, look, Eastern Illinois is real bad, so I need to dig into that one a bit. Not going to mess around with these larger spreads with Ohio State and Notre Dame, so I'm going to jump down to this Towson at UMass game. So consensus here, Torvik and Kempom were both like, hey, Towson by one. Shot quality says Towson by three, and the line is UMass favored by two. So I don't know. I'm considering it based on one game. Again, don't don't put too much stock into that. Uh, but Patty has UMass by eight point seven. So considering Western Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky, Western Kentucky has not played a D one opponent. Um, Torvik and Kevin Palmer close, and both on the. Uh, Eastern Kentucky side, but it's pretty thin. Santa Clara, I uh, was too much of a chicken to pull the trigger on their first game, and uh, they show up again here. So the spread is a little higher than where Torvik and Ken Palm are, but Patty and Shot Quality after one game really liked um, the Santa Clara side. So considering, but that's super, super thin. Uh, last game I'll just touch on here is, uh, actually I have two more I want to touch on. NDSU and Kansas, line is 24. Um, all data points are suggesting betting the Bison over Kansas. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, not trying to force stuff early in the year. And the final game I'll hit on is Colgate and Brown. Colgate favored by six and a half. Patty after one game says three and a half. Shot quality after one game says two and a half. Preseason expectations for uh, Torvik say four, Kenpon five. So that's four data points that are in alignment that six and a half is a bit much. You're getting more than two possessions. So I'm considering that as well. Might get greedy and then the bet will probably evaporate. So this sheet is posted on Twitter, uh, which is new this year, but uh, Twitter handle is CDTN underscore Patty. Um, as always, real-time bets are stamped on BetStamp user ID CDTN. Just go to the marketplace, search CDTN. So that's what I have for today. Should be fun to have more games, uh, a little bit higher quality of basketball, and could be a few ads from throughout the day. So thanks for stopping by. This is Cutting Down the Nets.